it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for being here today. We have a little box. I'm certainly not going to say it's new. This box has been here since September of 2019. It's been sitting on the shelf. It kind of got shoved to the back. It is six pounds from Goodwill in Pennsylvania. I have absolutely no idea what's in it. Goodwill's records don't go back that far. So this is quite, uh, you know, this is going to be quite a surprise on what's in it. So we're going to hope it's something good. I totally forgot. All right, well, let's get the bag open and let's get started. Well, let's get started. There were some beautiful pieces in here. Let's start with the endless hematite chip necklace. Really, really heavy. It has beautiful color. This is really nice. This one looks to be like smoky quartz. It is just a standard lobster claw. It's not, um, you know, it's silver tone. It's not silver. Again, nice color. This one, you know, these are, you know, kind of convertible pieces. You could use it as a necklace, you know, uh, wind it up a couple of times, use it as a bracelet. This one looks like we have almost like a moss agate, uh, a venturine, and maybe some quartz. Tiny little beads, totally adorable. And then we have new. This piece still has its tags on it. It's Sonoma. It says $18, and this would be dyed shell. Double strand. It has that peacock color. I mean, it's really nice. I can see why they would ask $18 for it. Then, you know, we have kind of a standard stretch. That one's cool too. Now this one, I don't know if it is commercially made or artisan made. It looks like that kind of that polymer clay and then it has these stones. Uh, they look like adventuring and then like a piece of abalone uh, collar, um, choker length, but I think you could extend that pretty easily. And hematite was pretty prevalent in here. We have the heart, the cat's eye glass beads, the barrel beads. And if you didn't like the configuration, you could easily take this apart, use all the pieces. You know, that would be an easy, easy peasy thing to do. Standard piece of the dyed halite. But what I like about this one so much is that the chain is very unique. They took the time to add some nice dimension and a little bit... Um, you know, the design work it really adds to this piece. And, you know, they didn't have to, but I think it was a nice touch. And just a standard little gold tone chain. And this reminds me very much of like the 70s. We always had these kits and you would make your own jewelry. And it's just a tumbled green stone. We had a few things in here that were attached to other things and they weren't... Uh, you know, um, stone like this one, some like a nice little bridal piece or, uh, you know, just really cute little rhinestone. Be great for the prom, you know. And then we have this one. I love the colors in this one. Needs a little work. We have a clasp that's not quite attached, but the blue stones really pop against that gold tone. And it's nice and long. Definitely do some fun things with this one too. Certainly had some more commercial styles. We've had this collection before. They're uh, connected with a little enhancer that you can certainly take off. Uh, you know, just wear these as is individually. This group, nice and long, has the endless configuration, no clasps. Uh, has everything from seed bead, real actual like little dyed stone, 
faux pearl, the seed beads, has a little bit of everything and a lot of color. It has a lot of flexibility here and a, some nice length. You can do a lot of fun things with this group. Then we had some marked. This one is Ralph Lauren. Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Uh, this one has actually man-made beads, uh, real stone, and then some silver tone spacer beads. So a little of both in that one. This one looks artisan made. Seed beads, glass beads. And then this one here. This is adorable. This one is marked HC. All of this enameling, the cute frog, the rose quartz, some actual a little extra enameling on the flowers. It is in beautiful condition. But you know, this little enameled frog just totally makes this piece. And this one is by Chaps. Again, this one has some ceramic beads, um, actual stone, uh, some acrylic beads, a little bit of everything, and beautiful coloring, perfect for the fall. And the pearls certainly had a nice representation in the box. This one is just, uh, you know, it is just adorable. I love the colors. This one would be glass. It almost has a cat's eye effect to it. These are faux pearls, nice large barrel clasp, easy on, easy off. And then we had a, you know what, this one has a little bit of, little bit of age and condition. It's a little stretched. I mean, it is in the back. It's probably not that big of a deal. 925 clasp, faux pearls, and then this color dyed shell is stunning. Look at this, that emerald green. If you didn't really like it, I mean, look at all of maybe the earrings, matching bracelet you could make. I think a lot of possibilities uh, with this one. This one is all pearl. Someone did that technique with the double wire, so it makes kind of like this tension. It is really neat. I really like that. And the color is perfect for fall. Nice length. Really, I really enjoy that piece. All right, this one, again, we have cute little pearls. I mean, here they are on the hand. Petite. And then we have these little blue, I believe they're glass. It's kind of hard to tell uh, because they're small, but the color is fantastic. If you want, you know, just that really nice little pop of color, that's a good one for that. This one would feature real pearl, and then it, you know, they're nice and gritty. And then these little tiny stones. I'm assuming they're, you know, some kind of jasper. But the color combination, the way it is, it makes the pearl shimmer just a little bit more because it's every other with that spacing. I think that was a smart choice. Okay, this last one was a little bit of a conundrum. It has an older style clasp. Uh, the clasp does have a little bit of condition, but it's, you know, it's still hanging in there. We have real pearl. And then at first when I saw these beads, I thought, well, that's very interesting. Is that like a lapis chrysocolla blend? What is this? And I think after looking at it a little closer, the pyrite runs even on the lighter side. So, like this one here has got a nice light side, but the pyrite kind of feathers into this too. I think we're dealing with undyed lapis, natural lapis, and pearl, and great combination. We had a nice assortment of bracelets this time around. These are all stretched. They all have the same kind of design, the little uh, fashion roses here. Nice little stretch, great colors. I love this blue. We had four of those. And then this hematite features all religious scenes. Again with the stretch. And then there was one more. Love the little square beads. They always add such a nice dimension. Then we had either strawberry, cherry quartz, 
nice little stretch here. Little charm bracelet. Let's see if we can't get them all to sort of lay in one direction. Uh, rose quartz, uh, you know, with fashion beads, and we do have, uh, you know, the breast cancer with the hope. Again, folks, if you have not been tested lately and you're due, please, please get checked. If it's time for your doctor's appointment, please make sure you go, okay? Uh, we want everybody safe and sound. Make sure you get checked. It's very, very important. All right. This one is fashion. I think you can wear this one because it has this little extender. I think you could also wear it as an anklet. There's the back. Really pretty. Uh, the, the gold is really held up really, really nicely. This one would be an inlaid shell. It's on the lighter side, you know, with kind of like the brass, a very lightweight insert. So that one's kind of, you know, it's cute. All right, I don't know. Is it Jasper? Those are nice little stones. We have the glass stones. Almost look like a Swarovski, you know, so that's a really nice one. And of course, because we've seen shell already, this one has unikite and the, I mean, look how tiny these are. Are those not adorable? Uh, and again, with the barrel clasp. This one, you need a little help, I think. Someone needs to help you put that, you know, on. All right, this one is a conundrum for me. It has a beautiful blue cat's eye effect. It does have some matrix, uh, some host rock in here, like here. I don't know if this is like a scapolite or a, you know, blue tiger's eye. All I know is that it's gorgeous. Then we ended up with a glass piece. I think it's supposed to look like a snake. Really? <laughs> substantial this piece. I'd be terrified to wear it. I know I would break that. Then we had a broken piece, but the beads are fabulous. So we have some really nice red agate. Nice size. I think that would be great for some projects. And this is marked sterling. It's an old style clasp. Double row looks like natural coral and you can see you know a little bit of color here and there it is beautiful uh, it's tiny I mean definitely you know collar length uh, for the miss it'd probably be like a choker um, but look how gorgeous that is and finally this last group has some amazing pieces uh, this certainly looks like an artisan crafted ring it's not marked Looks like it was cut here, so I think maybe it was cut off of somebody's finger. Uh, it, you know, it is really bent, but I think you could certainly take that off and make this be maybe like a brooch. I think that would be gorgeous. We had a, just a really standard little shell piece. I think, you know, if you take these three off, make three focal points uh, for three bracelets, I think that would be a nice little approach. We have these four are the same. I'll run them through. This really, really deep green and black. Uh, they all have the same clasp, an older style clasp. And I think, here, let me take one separate here. From looking closely at the green, I think we might have Sveen here. I'm not sure what the black ones are. You know, tourmaline, onyx, I mean, who knows. But these definitely have the characteristics of the uh, serpentine. But gorgeous. And there's four of them. So there is a lot of weight here. Then we have two that are very similar. First one. Okay, now, when I first saw this, I thought, well, maybe these are like picture jasper, but the coloring just isn't right. I think this is probably riverstone jasper and then rose quartz and then a, you know, a kind of an acrylic bead. So we have this one and I think these two are probably made either to go together or closely related, except this one's an infinity style. It is very long, easy to double up, 
and it features the same beads. Again, two different sizes. I think, again, probably river stone jasper. These look like marble. And then we have these uh, probably quartz. The white ones may be quartz. But tell me, these two don't look fantastic together. I think, I think they were meant to go together. All right, then we have... This is so heavy and so beautiful. And it is on not, you know, thread. It is definitely on a chain. Uh, we have Snowflake Obsidian, probably Black Obsidian. We have these fantastic gray quartz. I don't know if these are glass or if they are smoky quartz. I don't know. I'm not sure. But tell me, this piece is not striking. It is just... And that for this time of year, perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I'm probably going to say it wrong, but I'm, it's marked Nakamol on the little heart chain right there. And this is a double strand. We have glass, and it looks again like the gray quartz. I'm not sure what these peach color stones in there. Some of them are faceted. And then the focal point would be it looks like a geode that was cut and had amethyst in it. So look at this. Tell me that is not, oh, fabulous. And then our last two pieces. This one has a 925 clasp. The beads in between are not magnetic. And it's nice and long. And I think you know, we have a real good possibility of these being real. Beautiful turquoise, I, I, you know, either color or real actual turquoise, but it certainly looks that way. And then the last piece, it has just about everything. It has amethyst, blue stone, uh, blue gold stone, clear quartz, uh, strawberry quartz, agate, and what looks to be two um, beautiful sizes of the multi-gemstones and then five really nice hunks of what we hope to be real dirt boys. So again, we'll have these checked out just like uh, these. So you know what? For a surprise box that's been here for a year, I can say that I was so happy. That was, that was a lot of fun. All right, gang, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and thank you for sharing. Until next time, everyone, be safe. Take care. We'll see you soon.